Hello. Oh, thank you for bearing with us through our technical difficulties. Uh, my name is Miss Sarah, and I'm so excited to be uh, one of the program assistants running the TD Summer Reading for the summer. Um, we are going to read a book today, and then at the end, we'll do a couple of suggested books that you know fit with our theme of outdoor adventure. So that's our, we, our theme this week, and uh, let's get started. So, for today, we're going to be reading The Canadian Kids Guide to Outdoor Fun by Helene Becker, illustrated by Claudia de Villa, and that's published by Scholastic Canada. So, this book is really interesting because it's not like a storybook. The way it's written is it's written in a bunch of different challenges and activities that you guys get to do. So we're going to go through the book and we're going to do four challenges, four activities from the book all together. And then when you come into the library, you can check out the book and you can try some more of the challenges. So because the book is written in such a way, it has a table of contents. So throughout uh, the table of contents, you can see all of the activities in the book and what page numbers they're on. So we're going to look at something from each of the sections. So section one is called Get Out There. And we are going to flip forward into the sun safety activity. So this is a science experiment that you guys can try. And if you really love science, then you should come on Saturdays to our virtual event and we do science experiments every Saturday for the whole summer. So let's get started. Sun safety. It's hot out there, but it's too nice to stay in. So don't leave home without these three must-haves. A hat, water, and sunscreen. The science of sunscreen. Ever wonder why you need sunscreen? Try this experiment to find out. Fold a piece of, paper, of black construction paper in half. One half, rub in a very small dab of sunscreen. Leave the other half natural. Place the sheet of paper in bright sun for four to five hours. You may have to move it around to keep it in the sun. Compare the two sides of paper. Did the side without sunscreen change color? Did the area covered with sunscreen stay dark? The sunscreen shielded the paper from the powerful rays of the sun. It kept the paper from fading. Sunscreen will shield your skin too and will also keep it from changing color with a painful burn. So if you try out that activity, you can come in and see myself, Miss Sarah, or Miss Abby in the library and we'll give you a sticker. So we're going to go back to our table of contents to find out where we're going next. So we're back to our table of contents and we're going to go over to the blue section right in the middle. It's called make a splash. So we'll move along. We're going to flip over to page 64. Ooh, excuse me. And this is our crazy fill-in tippy canoe adventure. So this is a really fun activity that you can do with your family because I'm going to tell you a story, but that's based on my words because you get to pick some of the words in the story. So your story at home will be so different from mine. So I had to write mine down so that I wouldn't forget. But we're going to look over here and it gives you the list of all the different things you get to pick up here at the top. And we're actually going to go over some of these things that you might not know. So. Da -da -da. Name of a friend, we've got that one. Something smelly, something gooey. A kind of mammal, a mammal is an animal that breathes air and lives on land. So people are mammals and bears are mammals and horses and cats and dogs. A liquid, we've got that one. An object, another object, another object, no problem. An adjective, hmm. That might be a new word for some of our friends. An adjective is a word that describes an animal, person, thing, or thought. An example of an adjective would be tall or pink, things like that. Another adjective, another adjective. We got that now. 
An adverb. Hmm. That one might be a new word for some of our friends too. An adverb is a word that describes a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. It tends to answer questions like how, when, where, that kind of thing. You could do swimmingly. That would be a good adverb. Do, 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 do. The name of that same friend. An animal sound. We know our animal sounds. Something a doctor would say. A past tense verb. Well, what's a verb? A verb is an action word. So like jump, but past tense means it already happened. So jumped. Name of that same friend. We're going to talk about this friend a lot. A line from your favorite song. Hmm. The name of that same friend. A kind of animal, any animal. A body part. You could say your nose or your toes or your pinky finger. A movie star. I guess that'll depend on what kind of movies you watch. The name of that same movie star? An object you'd find in a mad scientist's lab? <gasps> that could be beakers or potions, all kinds of fun things. A verb, we already talked about the action word verb. That same movie star? And a kind of vehicle. It could be a bus, it could be a car, a truck, whatever. So let's get into our story. So I've got it written over here but I'm gonna hold this up for you guys to see. Look at the pretty pictures. One day, Miss Abby and I decided to go canoeing. We packed a lunch containing sour milk, glue, and hippo hair. We also filled our water bottles with iced tea. We made sure we also brought a flower pot, computer, and water bottle. Delish. Our canoe was blended and murky. The water, meanwhile, was tall and colorful. We paddled swimmingly. The water grew rough. We were approaching rapids. Miss Abby said, moo! I replied, stat! The canoe tested and fell. We screamed in terror. We were about to go over a waterfall. Paddle harder, I shouted. Miss Abby shouted back, shake it off. The next thing I knew, we were tossed from the canoe. Miss Abby lost their paddle, but managed to grab a flamingo's pinky toe. I just at that moment spied Miss Piggy. Help, we both screamed. Miss Piggy grabbed an evil potion and held it out to us. We were saved. I will never jump again, I said. We got into Miss Piggy's Kia Soul and we went to Hollywood to star in the next big blockbuster, Canoe Catastrophe. <laughs> so when you read this story at home, it'll be a little bit different and that's okay. And it's kind of exciting. So we're going to flip back to our table of contents Doo -doo -doo. and we're going to go on to the red section of over here. Time to play. So we're going to flip along in our book. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, and there we go. So page 104 and 105. This is the summer newsletter. Keep track of your summer activities. The who, what, why, when, where, and how. Then share your stories with your family and friends. A weekly newsletter or blog is fun to make and read to, or, and fun to read for everyone. These tips will help you create a prize winning record of your summer. So choose your format. Digital or handmade, you can practice your letters. What works best for you will depend on how much access you have to a computer, your intended audience, and just how you like to write. My sticky note is covering some of my words. Tip, if you choose to work on a computer, your work program probably has a newsletter template you can work from or design your own. I like to design my own. 
First things first, come up with a great name like the Summer Centile or the Cottage Cuckoo Report. How fun. So you can start recording all of the things that you're doing this summer and then you can share them with your family and friends later. How exciting. All right, we are gonna flip all the way back to our table of contents for the last time. And we're gonna go to the purple section over here on the far side and it says around the campfire. We're gonna flip through do, 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 around the campfire. <gasps> And we're going to do our campfire sing-along, which is on page 156. So I'm going to do a repeat after me song, which is right over here on this side. So Miss Abby is over here. She's going to give us a hand. So I'm going to say, this is a repeat after me song. And Miss Abby is going to respond. This is a repeat after me song. All right. So start it. I said a boom chicka boom. 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 I said a boom a chicka rocka chicka rocka chicka boom. I said a boom a chicka rocka chicka rocka chicka boom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. All right. One more time. One more time. Now this is where it gets to get exciting. So the book suggests little baby style. Little baby style. And you can pick different ways. So little baby style might be like, little baby style and you cry because babies cry sometimes. Or you could do it really quiet or really loud. Thank you, Miss Abby. All right, so we're gonna flip, flip, flip to something that's a little bit different as well because of this book. So because it's not a regular story, it has an index at the back. So if you're looking for something specific, let's say, <laughs> pig Latin. I can see pig Latin is right there, page six. So I'd flip back to page six and I'd learn a little bit about pig Latin. So on that note, this is the end of the book. Dear Summer, I had so much fun spending time with you. I can't wait to do it again next year. Love me. And that looks like a postcard. That's it for the Canadian guide or the Canadian kids guide to outdoor fun. We're going to look at a couple more books just quickly that are similar in our outdoor adventure theme. So we have Lights on Wonder Rock by David Litchfield. We have, oh, I put them too far away. Swimming, Swimming by Gary Clement. We have Explorers of the Wild by Cale Atkinson. And finally, for my recommended reads for today, we have ABC of Toronto by Pierre Hendrick Girth. So I'm going to put all of these books back on the shelf, which means that if you come into the library, you can come and read these books right away unless somebody gets to them first. It was so nice chatting with all of you, and I will see everyone next week for another story time. Bye!